What it do, what it do. It's your boy Re Up, and I'm back at it again, keeping it real, raw, and 100. Let's get straight to it, man. Um, y'all, man, these young dudes, these casuals, I've been saying this in the NBA Live community for a long time. They run shit. We need to realize that they run shit because people listen to them, the community, people listen to these guys all the time, always on Twitter, complaining, crying. This is what they do. So the NBA live fans, these are those type of people. They're just they, they listen to 2K people cry. They listen to those type of crybabies. And they run with it and say, OK, the um, NBA 2K is trash and they ain't even played the game. You know, they ain't even played the game. And that's weird. So, yo, guys, look, check this out. Go watch this video by Chris Smoove and my man is Reese. It's dead on videos, you know what I mean, about what's going on with the whole situation, man. And it's it's funny. It's funny. It's, it's very, very, very funny, man. And I say it's funny because this is something that I've gone through, like, my whole time dealing with youtube you know what i'm saying this is something that i go through personally you know what i mean and several other youtubers from the nba live side so let's talk about it man let's get into it so you know when, when people see my numbers and they're like you know what i'm saying they they, they they try to throw the number shot at me there's been youtubers from nba live side over the over the past years that that love to try to throw the number game out you know what i'm saying they they, they love that and the only reason they do because they know that's their way they feel like they can flex because they feel like their content is more valid than than, than my content or Prime 76 content or uh, NBA Live BR or you got um at the time, my man, I can't think of the guy name used to do uh, the NBA Live Ultimate Team content. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about the swaggy peas, you know, the content he used to put out all about sim basketball and the things they used to. That's really why the NLVC haven't really blowed up, like, really, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're known in the NBA Live community. Like, we know them. But far as any other community, people don't know them like that because that's all they talk about is sim basketball. So it's, it's, it's very hard to survive out here just talking about sim basketball. That is the hardest thing to do. And far as views yeah you're not gonna get them like that you know what i mean because you're talking about something that a lot of people don't want to hear they don't want the game to get more sim they want the game to be uh have dribble guys in it and and cheeses and glitches that's what they love in the game that's why when they talk about this situation they bring up chris smooth and they say well he's trash he can't play the game anyway that has nothing to do with what, what the conversation is about i'm with them I, that's why I don't play much of that shit. I can't take it, man. I can't be out there and people feel like it's fun seeing guys just dribble all crazy for 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Then want to pass the ball and all that shit. Well, not even 30 seconds because not even 30 seconds in the shot clock, but you know what the fuck I mean. They dribble the ball the whole time. It's crazy. Then, then the defense don't never react to what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? 2K19, 2K19, when the game first dropped, it was like that. And it stayed like that kind of throughout the, the period. They, but they did lighten up on the defense, though. But to me, but to me, that was the best fucking 2K in, in a long time. I, because, because it took actual, the, the defense responded to all the shit they had going on in my world, in, in, the, in the NBA play now world. Because throughout the years, you guys, the the part gameplay trickle down and start to affect and play just like you know you know that 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 tr the part play trickle down to the play now so now everything is playing like the park now everybody's trying to find a green release every tr everybody trying to get an nba player and find out what badges they got so they can be able to run with that guy and be able to do the same thing the same moves and the same shit they do in the park and that's how they survive and that's how they they doing in 2k right now that's one reason why they put um they, they took play now and they got it as a single player mode too you know what i'm saying because people that's all they know how to do now these are non-basketball people if you want to come up here all day and play with a my player i don't really consider you a really a basketball player you're you're you're, you're not what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying you're you're, you're you're not in that same you know what i mean i can't put you in the same room man because you you, you just playing that mode and to me that mode don't matter if, if you if you can't fix the regular gameplay, all the modes, you know what I'm saying, gonna gonna have that. 
And I mean, we want to talk about basketball. You know, you got basketball, then you got video games, you got stuff like that. Now, me personally, I'm all about true basketball. And which, I mean, I guess a lot of people don't understand the word sim because they're not really basketball people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all play other sports or maybe not even play the sport at all. But you see how cool basketball is. So 2K want to lure all those guys into play. But my thing is, when I play the game, I want to play a real basketball. The shit don't supposed to happen, it don't supposed to happen. If guys don't really dribble like that, then I don't want to see guys dribbling like that on a basketball game. That, that that's That's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? If that's the case, you need to have your own mode where those people can go in and do it at all the NBA Jam type shit that they want to do. You know what I'm saying? And I guess that's what they consider the part. But when they take that gameplay and they trickle it down to all online effects, and that's how people are playing now, it really, really makes the game sick. It really makes the game sick, you guys. That's why you got over here on the NBA Live side, you got guys like myself, prime and other guys that i named man that all we talk about is sim basketball me i cannot like prime like look get along with him whatever but we all want the same thing as far as me talking to him like i actually can have a conversation with him about the game of basketball with nba live about true basketball i can have that with him other guy other people i really can't have that conversation with because they're talking they're so their mind's so wrapped around a player build and i give two fucks about that i don't care like <laughs> I, I care less bro i'd rather go create a player and just 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 put on the nba team and, and play with player lock like like that's fun to me i, I don't i don't want to play you know what i'm saying i got to do all this unanimated i got to learn glitches in the game people worrying about certain jump shots and all that shit just just the win i ain't worrying about I don't, I don't play like that and for those who people that in their mind that play like that like they're they just wilding too it's another dude, uh, he was talking shit about Chris Smooth. I'm going to get back on the NBA Live shit right quick. It's another dude talking about Chris Smooth shit. And um, I mean, I felt like, oh, look, let me finish this NBA Live shit first with the YouTubers, and then we're going to get back to that. Um, I don't want to be everywhere, but it's just so much shit coming in my mind because I'm passionate about this sim shit and basketball and what's going on with it. Now, when it comes down to NBA Live YouTubers, you have guys like Fly Guy GBG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the light skinned pretty, pretty boy that still want to be throwing shots. But, I, hey, man, you know what? I laugh at dudes like that now because, you know what I'm saying? I laugh at dudes. But I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. Those are the type of YouTubers that came up here and begged for subscribers and gave y'all all the the, the, the the cheesy gameplay and all that shit. That's, that's them. I don't associate with them because their opinion is not going to be like mine. They want the game to be like this. They are the casuals. They, they are the casuals, dribble guys that are YouTubers. So these guys really are the problem, but they're going to easily get the views because it's so many of them out here. It's so many guys like Fly Guy GBG, and it's another dude with the gap tooth wanting to throw shots at me back in the day. I can't, I don't even know if he's doing shit anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because these guys are not really creative. Live is gone right now, but they're still not creative enough to give you guys live content. The content that they promised to give you guys when they was up here begging for subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So they was begging for it, but now they're not creative, creative enough to give you guys content like you want. So their channel can stay relevant. Cause right now, man, their channel is really not even relevant. I don't even fuck. Up. I, look, bro, they can look at mine. Oh, look at the views. Look at this. Look at that. Everything is going because I'm building. You know, so I gotta go out here and I gotta really fish for my people that rock with my content. You feel me? I gotta really fish. It's so easy for you guys to go out here and just reel somebody in because you're you're saying the same thing all the other numb nuts is saying. It's easy for guys like them to compare to me and Prime. It's like 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 he got black guy got more subscribers then then prime you know what i'm saying and it's a reason for that you know what i mean he, he got though and he got he passed prime in less than a year he definitely blew right by me i mean you know what i'm saying but it's a reason for this you guys and i'm not dissing this dude even though i really don't like him but i'm just bringing this up because this is a fact because these dudes get so big-headed that they got more subscribers they're getting claim more views and stuff like that but they ain't looking at the shit that they done back in the past to get those but we're not even gonna get into that but I just wanted, that's the guy. So you see, and the people that subscribe to um, Fly Guy channel, they're not going to subscribe to my channel because I don't talk about bullshit like that. I'm not going to waste my time talking about bullshit content and giving you guys bullshit content like that. That's why I haven't gave you guys a lot of Live 19 yet like that. Like, I, I don't even, I, ain't, I can't even say yet at the point of time. I couldn't give you guys that because that gameplay affected sprinkle down onto other gameplay and i can't just i can't i cannot sit here and play a my player all fucking day and take that shit serious 
I, I, that's not my style of basketball. You know what I'm saying? For those people that subscribe to my channel that do and still rock with me, I respect y'all. But I just can't do that shit, bro. I got to get some real basketball in my system. I can't do it. I can't go up here and play that all the time and actually be like, yo, I'm playing a real basketball game and actually take it serious. I can't do it. I have to get that real experience that I that 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 uh that real experience that I was pleased with back in the day, back in the 360 days. That's why you see me playing games like what you see in the background. This is the NBA 2K11. This is why. I've been playing the shit out of NBA 2K8. I think these games right here are the best games ever to me. This was when they actually focused on basketball and wanted to make the games as real as possible. Even though it was bullshit still in these games, their aim goal was to make the game as real as possible, true to basketball, simulation. That's what they try to make these games. And now it's like people is like 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 people people, people judge 2K off of my player mode, off one fucking mode, they judge a whole game off of. If that mode isn't right to a casual, the whole game is trash. Why do people continue to listen to people like that? And to be and to be, and to be honest with you guys, man, this is why 2K. Um, that's why NBA Live is in the situation is in now. So let's move to the Chris Smooth situation right fast. Um, one YouTube pull him out. I don't, I don't be knowing these guys' name. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm gonna be truthfully honest. The, the 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 content that these dudes put out is bullshit content all the time. I mean, these 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 guys are the reason why the that game is is as far as the my player mode is in the shape that it's in. Matter of fact, the whole fucking game of two K because I don't play new two Ks like that. So I mean, I play them enough to you know you know what I'm saying. I'm not a, I'm not a fanboy, but it just uninterests me to the point where I rather play something else, and that's for NBA Live and two K. But a lot of these guys, man, they put bullshit content out, so I don't know a lot of these. K YouTubers like fuck no because they don't they don't talk about shit but glitch jump shots drum moves bullshit that I don't give a fuck about so he threw some shots he was like yo y'all dudes can't beat me I uh, um challenge me for any wager da 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 see guys like that like I'm, I'm gonna say you like this or sim head like me I don't give a fuck about what you talking about bro like that like like what you're saying don't make too fucking sense I I wouldn't even play you anyway I, I don't want to play a cheesy player. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 hell no. Like, nobody's going to do that bullshit. Nobody's going to try to play a fucking cheese fest game or infested game. Like, who's doing that? You know what I'm saying? Nobody's doing that. Nobody cares about that. But these fanboys of 2K and NBA Live, they all about that. They feel like they're nice. They feel like they're the superior in the game and nobody can touch them just because they're out here doing something that, to me, is just... Bunch of BS. That shit you done. That the, the same thing they doing is the same shit that we was doing PS2 days on on these other games out here. The, the NBA jams and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But they feel like they're nice and they feel like they run the game just because they can do that. You're not really nice to us though. Like like a sim head. Like we look at you like mm -hmm, okay, you don't know nothing about the game of basketball. You just up here exploiting the game. So no, we're not gonna play you. Nobody's scared of you, but nobody's gonna play you. Nobody nobody wanna play in no environment like that. Hell no. Like. That's not going to happen. They don't want that to happen. That ain't going to happen, period. So it's, it's a lot of crazy shit going on, man. And But that is how I feel about the whole sim sim thing, man. That's a, It's affected the whole NBA Live side, too. I mean, that's why 19 was the way it was, because they listened to the community. And when you listen to the community, that's what the fuck happens. These guys was complaining about the same thing. The NBA, a lot of these... Fanboys that came over anyway was X 2 k people because the game got too hard for them and they moved on and they wanted to get some NBA Live. You know, back then, 2K19 was was like the defense was there. A lot of people complained about the game. So within that time, a lot of these complainers got, got NBA Live. So when they started playing NBA Live 19, they're like, oh, damn, this shit kind of falls in line with what I'm talking about a little bit. So that's why NBA Live is liked by them, by these guys. So I don't see NBA Live becoming a sim game. I, 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 it, it ain't happened yet. I don't see it happening anytime fucking soon. Maybe not nine and ten, but that's it, bro. Obviously, they didn't. EA didn't want to go that direction. They was probably getting so many complaints from 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 casual, casual dribble guys that they was like, you know what, man, let's just go ahead and and, and make this game cheesy again and fast paced and all that. And that's what the game that, that that they wanted because live fourteen through nineteen, none of those games was fucking simulated. Or had any type of simulation feel to it. Just a little bit. But man, who cares? Like, that, that tad bit doesn't please a simulation gamer. Or a true basketball gamer. It don't. We just want a true experience and that's it. So I feel everything, my man. Um, 
Chris Smooth talking about though, man. So shout out to him, man. And uh like people crazy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's Reese too, man. You know, check out his video. Like I told y'all in the beginning, these dudes, they, 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 they really speaking some facts. And, you know, um, these other guys, man, it's sadly that they run the community and they honestly ran guys like my sim head out. Like, like a lot of simulated people, simulation people don't even play 2K anymore. Like we've been past 2K. We, we're not having these conversations about player bills and shit like that. I know about it because I get it and I try it, man. I get it because I'm a basketball gamer. So I fall for the trap of buying the game every fucking year. But I tell you what, this game out this year, I promise I will not be paying full price for NBA 2K. I'm definitely going to wait for that piece of shit to drop. And then I get it because I want the experience. I want to see what they have new in, it, in every 2K because this is the leading basketball game that we have. So I got to stay up to date to see what's going on in these new games. You know what I'm saying? I love that experience. Even if I get up there and just do some franchises and just, and just give you guys content on just um, 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 simulating regular seasons and stuff like that and rebuilding teams. Even if I had to do that, I still want to get the game to experience that part. You know what I'm saying? Because these newer games, definitely, I'm not going to go back here and update these rosters. Hell no, man. That's, take, that's, that's too much fucking time. I would have to be getting mad views behind this shit to do that. Now I don't really want to do that. And anybody can do it through PC mods anywhere. And their, and their PC mods are going to look way better than my original 360 creating a player type shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I don't really think I could compete with content with that. So I'd just rather go back, uh, rebuild old teams or rebuild new teams, stuff like that, give you guys content on that. But gameplay wise, I don't agree with the, this new shit. I just don't agree with it because it, to me, it wasn't real basketball. They didn't focus on that. All the focus was on the my player shit. They seen the lane, they seen the money lane, they attacked it and they stayed on it. You know what I'm saying? They stayed on it, you guys, and they ain't let back. They ain't try to let back at all. All right, you guys, but let me get up out of here, man. Look, if you're new to the channel, man, smash on that subscribe button, man. We're going to be definitely dropping content um, on the regular, you know what I'm saying, uh, about NBA Live uh, 2K, you know what I'm saying? If you already know, you already know the vibes of this channel. This is what we do, man. So we're here. We're going to definitely continue to drop content and um, go from there, man. Describe if you're new, like the video, share the video. I'm up out of here, y'all. Peace out.